okay let's begin from where we left last time so last time we just processed some part of a data and then just outputted it and uh, wrote it in an excel file today we'll learn little more manipulation of a data and uh, explore some more tools within the all tricks so now when we look into the data we have the registration date time and that is coming in the format yy mmdd hhmm ss which is again the uh, date time format so what we can do is uh, from this we can populate actually the years of service kind of field from the registration date so to do that what we are going to do is in in an output tool actually we have date time now so i'm going to drag that one and i'm taking the same format as the registration date time column and uh, just give me a minute uh, before we run actually rather than you know avoiding the overwriting of this particular output i'm going to configuration window run time and going to disable my right output okay so i'm good and i'll just run it to simply see you know what is coming with the date time now so if you see it is showing me today's date so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one interesting uh, tool available which is append field which appends your columns actually to the existing data so first i'm going to delete this connection because i want to join this particular date time now column to my prior prepared data okay so now if you see you have this date time column populated here like this and uh, after that there is one more field like you know one me if there are errors so to avoid that we will just say allow all appends so it just uh, normally works the way we look for right to append the columns to the existing table so if you see now we have the date time column appended to our existing table or existing data now as we have the formula tool i'm going to drag the formula tool and create new field or new column which says years of service and then this formula tool has lot of functions predefined within the all tricks so if we say that you know uh, i have like date time if we click on that we have so many date time functions date time first date time day the time start the time pass the time now everything so what i will do now is i'll go to the formula tab and i'll just use the the time difference function because i want to populate the difference between the registration date and my current like a system date so what i will do is the time now and i have the registration date and then i'll just give here as years of service so it is automatically populated if you see the value is populated here actually in the data preview you can see here that your formula is working fine so that is the way to check that you know whether your formula is throwing any error or you can do modify it accordingly so let me just run it and see how it is coming up okay so i do have the column now years of service for each of the user id this is amazing right and after that again i can use my select tool to remove the unnecessary column now i don't need the date time now or uh, maybe the registration time I, i can keep it but i don't need other columns okay so we have done the manipulation so now once we have the years of service what else we can do with this particular tool so i think we have enough columns um, 
if you want to classify the data actually into the male and female you can do that with the filter tool and particularly match that value so right now i don't need now that we created one field actually uh, which is years of service what we will do is we'll go to the documentation tab and we have processed our data and you know prepared some kind of you know um, created new fields as well as we have a um, lot of like a clean data after parsing but still it is very clean data and we have very limited fields but just to begin with i'm just going to give this much so i'm just going to add the containers to separate out the phases that we are doing right in the workflow so i'm just adding the tool containers and adding the tool containers has the advantages i will explain it in a bit so processing part i'll put it into one container and then output tool which is writing your output into specific file so here i'm going to do that you know which phase it is data preparation phase or manipulation phase or you can say it is and then output your data okay so these are like a simple three stages as of now for us and if you want to, to have the consolidated you can have like a single one more tool container and add all these three phases into that i'm just going to remove the browse we don't need it anymore so the how this is how our workflow will look i'm just going to give the annotations in this we discussed last time So this is like a maintenance purpose that you know you will be able to maintain this or everybody will get to know what is happening in that particular stage of a workflow. So this is like a simple workflow and how it looks like. Uh, for additional comments you know you can add the comment box as well. Like you know if you are reading records then you can just mention it like you know records something like number is 8716 and if you are doing some filtering and etc you will get to know that you know what is happening with data and it is like good for the business to know that you know what is going with the data after that particular data preparation stage so if there is something like you know you are doing some joins and you are missing some data because of the joins it is easy to do it that way so this is like for the common purpose and uh, this is like it has an advantage that you can color actually you can decide the color you can give the different colors for your you know text color or you can have the uh, background color instead of white if you want different color I can just take something like lighter color and I can do that color actually and you can see it your comments highlighted as well so this is like a simple formatting and there is a reporting tool available in the all tricks where you can render your output kind of you know use this layout table and render output tool together to just format your excel sheets and give them uh, margins and borders and etc that you can do there is one more interesting thing is visualization part of uh, all tricks that we can explore actually so before we get this uh, enabled we have to run this workflow and then once we run it you can see that the configuration is enabled so once you have this 
configuration enable you can in, in click on that configuration insights you can see that you know you have this thing where you can add the charts and once you add the charts you have the edit you can go ahead and add the layer and then here you can select the type of chart you would like to see so i'll say heat map and i would like to see the heat map on gender country and years of service so this is how my heat map will look like and if i close the editor then i do have this and kind of a dashboard format and again i will go ahead and add one more chart and i'll say edit and now add layer and i want a different chart which is a bar chart and the x column will be gender and y column will be user id count so it is kind of you know how many male and female distribution or the classification present in your data so close the editor and you have the second chart here so this simple data visualization is also like you know and you can have this like this so simple visualization is possible in all tricks and you can change the colors as well right so if i want to change the color of the layer or access colors See here you have the color defined for the font. Okay, you have the color for the chart as well. So this is display color chart layer. These are the layer colors and I can change it to green. And yeah. So I'll just close the editor and this is like you know two charts I do have heat map and the bar chart. So this is like a simple data visualization is possible in preview mode. You will see it like this. And this is quite simple. Then you can add the labels and everything just like you do it in the tab. So this is like a simple data visualization is also possible within data. Next time. We will explore more about the joint tools as well as little advanced uh, words, the predictive analytics. So until then, happy learning. Stay safe. Bye for now.